Why, hello there, Rim Rim's Rim Pin, and welcome to Rim Rim World, where today... Well, actually, we just finished Mass Describing, so we can try and get all of those physical adept characters an actual class, with the exception of Portal, who's kind of, uh, you know, pigeonholed down the, down the crappy Wanderer tier. We've got a prison full of people that I also want to recruit today. Five, five people in there, and then, what, like, two people in here? Something like that. Um, well... Mm hmm Wait, Padilla? We seem to be missing someone. Well, that's tomorrow's problem. Like, who the hell? There's a zombie in here? Oh. Oh. Wait. You know what? That doesn't answer my question, but I won't worry about it for the time being. Anyway, in conclusion, that will take us past our next tier of colonists. 20 out of the 50 colonists we want to win the series. And, you know, as per usual, zombies get stronger and faster and a uh, fat Laurentius... My god, sir, you are you are so doomed. Uh, what about this guy here? Do we want to do something about that? Where's Smiles? You know what? I'm sure between, like, these seven people, they can take out a single zombie. Bloody hell, they are fast now. Okay, okay, okay. Fat Laurentius, have you got a ranged weapon? Or are you just like a... Yeah, see, like a mace in a zombie apocalypse wouldn't be my go-to weapon. I won't lie. Knight? Oh, it's an albino zombie. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm not even sure how that guy got in. That's a bit of a concern. And on the subject of concerning zombies getting in places where they shouldn't be, uh, we have 116 hit points between us and about 150 undead. So it was probably not a bad idea if we were to uh, maybe go deal with that first before we get too, uh, too engrossed in trying to level up some of our people here, trying to give them the proper classes. Who do we have that's even physically adept in hindsight? Obviously, Portal, that ship has sailed. Um, where's your... Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Ronnie has, Ronnie has no information. He's a, he's a secret man. He keeps to himself. Who have we got here then? Uh, why is it only Ronnie? So, Ink Sphinx, so we need at least one combat book for you. Lionheart as well, so that's two combat books. And then, I think, like, two of our prisoners as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look here. Sellers, what have you got? Let's hope none of these guys have a hidden bio as well. Uh, oh, or not. Wow. Maybe I was wrong. Ling Mei is physical adept. Right, okay. So we need three of the fighter books. And that will give us a massive advantage against some of these undead. Wow. If we can get some of the range classes, that's really what I'm after here. Where's the other person gone? P -p -p Padilla. Are you in here now? No? I'm so confused. Oh, that's cursed. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that's really cursed. Well, of course, Ronnie would be the one to uh, to break the game. Good work. Breaking knees and breaking games. The Ronnie Todger story. Uh, I can't even notice they are about to break through very soon. Well, I mean, it's two, it's two per mine. And I mean, it's got 100 hit points left. So it's not really that massively urgent. But I'd rather fight them on our terms, you know. Breached. Oh my god, it's breached. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Okay, here comes the Albino zombie. Uh, maybe maybe kill him. Maybe, maybe kill him now. Because we don't want to be stuck in a vomit loop. Okay. Okay, now here's the plan. Oh, God. Okay, they are aggroed now. Move back. Don't breach that palisade, for God's sake. Let's just stand back here. Take them as they come through. Take them as they come through. Go, go, go. Take that one down. Fat Laurentius and the Muffin Man bought melee weapons. We'll bring them here, because for some reason, that Albino Zombie's like making a mad dash for our base. Oh, God. Here it goes. Okay, here they come. Here they come. No, you need to not shoot at the ones behind the palisades, genius. Go over there. Okay, I'm going to have to min-max this a little bit. Oh, Jesus. A zombie attack as well? More to replace the ones that we're killing, eh? Ah, oh, that's a good sign. What we need to do is we need to get Ronnie to... Have we got enough... Do you think we've got enough for cavalry spikes? Yes, we do. Can we cavalry spike up this corner? How much wood have we got? Uh, We've got about somewhere roughly between 78 and 84. If only there was a way I could look over to the side here and see that we have 82. Weird that. We could leave this open and just cavalry spike it. Because I think zombies going through would take enough damage to die. But I think... Let's turn off fire at will and I'll just manually assume control here. But I think raiders would still be able to find a way through. And we could capture them. Holy crap, this palisade idea actually worked pretty well. Because they're all kind of getting caught down there. They are pathfinding through pretty decently. Bear in mind, when the zombie senses get to elevated, they won't do this. They will just be booking it through that open wall. Let's reposition down here. Because if we're going to get them to build the cavalry spikes there, we're going to need a bit more cover. To be honest, it might make some sense dashing through, lining up here. Oh, yeah, but shit. Think of how fast they are now, though. Like, we're not going to be able to do some of those silly things that we did before. 
Okay. Um, right, Ink Sphinx, let's bring you up as well. We need all the help we can get here. Oh my god, the wall. That was our people shooting at the zombies on the other side of the palisade and breaking the wall down. Wow, okay. Um, god damn, how much damage these crossbows do? They can knock, knock out a sandstone wall. Let's get you guys on either side. Just kind of in position and ready to go if it's needed. Rivers, why are you so slow these days? Oh, pregnant and one-legged. Yeah, that would probably do that. You know what? Here's what I'm thinking, Rivers. Go home. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, God, the albino zombies are doing me a significant fright. And, hey, uh, you think we could you think we could kill that one before it starts screaming? That'd be good. Oh, shit. Uh, Ronnie? No pressure, friend. Okay, we have to bring this guy down. <laughs> the fucking music in the background has just occurred to me. <laughs> just this lovely, pleasant day in Rimworld. Meanwhile, our people are getting zombies running at them left, right, and center. Just a, just a torrent of vomit and toxic spew and guts is coming at them. Meanwhile, just a nice jaunty farming soundtrack going on there. Oh! Ronnie just started psychotically wandering, and the game didn't say anything. Ronnie... Yeah, Ronnie is bugged. Uh, he's broken. Ronnie has broken the game. Holy shit. Okay, let's back up a little bit here then, shall we? They are fast. That's for sure. But luckily, this toxic zombie had the decency to die in front of them, which is slowing them down massively. Holy crap. What if we push through and we use today as, a, as an excuse to maybe line all of the mountains with cavalry spikes? Because if this happens again, this exact same situation, when they are a lot faster, a lot stronger, this isn't going to work. This is, this is just going to get us all horribly killed. Okay, here comes Lieutenant Dan with the cavalry spikes. And we've got to send our people home soon. Major break risk. How many people... So we've got John Snow Major and then three minor as well. Smiles, let's move you up. Give him some cover. Go, Dan. Oh, be careful. That's it. You bought enough for one, one cavalry spike. Get out of my sight. Oh, no. Don't eat your... What? Hatred. Pure hatred. Unbelievable. You know what's a nice spot for a picnic? Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking somewhere around here. Oh, hey there. Well, they are fast. Holy shit. Um, okay. Here's the plan. I've got to give him some time off here. That was pathetic. What we'll do is we'll bring... I think I will manually get everybody to pick up as much lumber as they can carry. Or we'll just drop a load off on the floor down here. And use this as a temporary storage point to run back and forth for deliveries. Because trying to hold the line while we wait for Ronnie to not do anything. And while we wait for Lieutenant Dan to bring lumber over apparently one fence at a time. Probably going to take a little while to get this done. I hate you people. Get your meal. Leave. No! What is so appealing about that particular spot? <laughs> Friendship ended with people area. Get out. Go away. Are you... Are you kidding me? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Can I literally toe in the line? It's like they just want to get me... Get me... Get me stressed out here. It's like they're just looking to get themselves killed. Go home. Why are you like this? Has he not got a bedroom? That Laurentius. Oh, we sacrificed his bedroom, didn't we, for the prisoners? What did we build a proper prison? Somebody asked that yesterday in the comments, and I said, you can't let them get too luxurious. But if the alternative is our people are, are sleeping on the Maginot line here, I'm, I'm not particularly proud of that. But why don't we, rather than building a luxurious prison, just expand the one that we've got? Uh, let's do something like... Something like that. And then we'll build kind of a similar design to what we had this way. So we can put a door here, door here, and a door here. That way, if they do go on a prison break, and um, maybe we build this in a wall out of uh, sandstone or something like that. That way, if they do go for the prison break, they have to get through like a lot. Yeah, see, this is what I was trying to avoid. We do still have this forward base. So here's the plan. Then let's go ahead and limit the people area until we can manually get it back under control. Let's go ahead and remove all of this. And let's cut them right, right back to the fence. We also need to finish this area pretty soon. Because the albino zombies are, unsurprisingly, just opening the doors. That's probably how that other zombie got in. Well, no, because none of the doors are actually open right now. Damn it. Um, maybe even line the back of them with, with cavalry spikes for the timing. We've got so much of the map. The, the problem is, I think, is I tried to claim too much of the map too quickly. Without finishing any particular area kind of thoroughly. Now we're paying for it. I mean, these areas are fine. I don't think they're going to get through here in a hurry unless a mining zombie happens to be there. Two of them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's brave. Uh, smiles. Go with night. And let's... Oh, 
Oh, shit. Did they kill it before it screamed? I think we got it just as it started to scream. Well, that was fortunate. Night! Oh, God. Holy crap. Your lucky smiles got there in time. And these guys should just very slowly die. Now, I removed the cavalry spikes there so that our people could obviously walk over it without potentially taking damage. It should be enough just to pick off the few zombies there. The only problem is if one of the albino zombies spawns in and runs straight down. We should be okay. Let's, let's worry about this area because this is obviously a way of them getting like right into our base here. Oh, the ballista have all the ingredients delivered. Oh, right. Okay, so we put Lieutenant Dan, of course, on social. And he's got to juggle all those prisoners to try and help train him up to be a better commander. Um, 8.35 isn't bad. It was only 5 originally, right? Right, let's get you back here. The problem is Ronnie is still broken down. So it's going to take a little while before we can do that. I'm hoping they can't walk over the ballista. So to be honest, some of this might have been unnecessary, but better to play it safe, I guess. Oh, they can. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, that's kind of understandable, really. Otherwise, it would just be the equivalent of uh, of, a, of an embrasure, right? Like a, one of the full overpowered embrasures. Oh, that's pretty good. Look. Oh, that, that's nice. That actually works. So with the palisade there right in front of it, we can fire out. It looks as if the bolts don't hit the palisade, which I will admit is the one thing I was kind of concerned about there. Oh, that's good. Hey, so we can just sit someone on these uh, ballista. It's completely safe. And we've got a way to take out the electric zombies. One thing I should also point out as well before I forget is someone asked why I didn't prioritize rescuing one of the people with the uh, magic rings yesterday. When you recruit them, we've done it in previous series. Well, they might have changed it obviously since. Um, but when we've recruited them previously, the rings have disappeared after we've recruited them. So it, it, it's not like we can uh, game the system and get somebody with a magic ring on our side or anything like that. Oh, I see. So I, I just looked into it to find out what happened to our missing, uh, who's apparently still here, prisoner, but non-existent. Uh, turns out they had a futuristic backstory. No medieval mod in Remod is perfect. Uh, simply because... You know, you're completely overhauling the game. Particularly when we're using it with so many other mods as well. It generally makes it so that certain things fall through the cracks. Or certain things removed are re-added by another mod. Or, or you know, call for things that aren't there. In this case, Padilla had a backstory that is kind of futuristic. You know, maybe a Glitter World backstory or whatever. And now, uh, it can't spawn her in. Because she... Because that backstory shouldn't exist, so to speak. What's he doing? He's up in my wardrobe? Oi, you stay away from that. <laughs> What is he doing? I have no idea. What the hell was that? I need to look at what these guys do. I mean, obviously, we've seen the screen. We've seen them open the doors. But he was, like, going through my stuff. <laughs> oh, again, eh? <laughs> Good morning, Evan. Time to wake up now. Holy crap. It's got this. You're just going up to the bedrooms and opening the doors. I guess it's so that if you're not paying attention... Man, I think it'd be better without the sound effect, you know? Because that way, if you're not paying attention, these guys could sneak into your base quite quickly, open up the doors, and then if you really haven't got, like, the hole in your wall plugged up, you could be just overwhelmed quietly. Oh, Ronnie's back. There we go. Thank you, Ronnie. At long last for joining us. Hey, we're getting all the ballista built, too. That's fantastic. When we get these uh, palisades down, we don't have to really worry about the zombies getting through the door so much. It's mainly just this kind of central area. Rumbos, hold on. I didn't even think about that. Can we not hold that door open? Well, let them in, but then afterwards, like, shut the door behind them. Here you are. Come on through. That's it. Right. Is that going to shut behind him now? Hopefully. No. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll have to get someone to go and close that later, I guess. Uh, this is pretty great. So, as I've talked about before, thrombo horns are used in some of the best weapons we can make. Now, I believe we already have a couple, don't we? Yeah, we do here. We have two thrombo horns. The thrombo horns are used to make the thrombo from space b-o-w as in a bow a weapon let's kill them all because we can also yeah this part this part is cancelled it's time for a massacre because we can also make a i think you can make like a thrombo sword or a thrombo spear or something like that now let's be cautious about this arrow storm get him Ooh. okay that's kind of not what i was hoping for i was hoping for a single thrombo at a time but that's okay I think we'll probably still be okay. The only problem is Kafar people are missing limbs. One of them is heavily pregnant and also missing a limb, um, which isn't really ideal. Uh, speak of the devil. Oh, Jesus. Ronnie, Rivers is down. Ronnie is also down. What the hell happened there to Ronnie? Are you kidding me? Do you see that? Oh, what the fuck that was about? Well, I hope that was just visual and wasn't actually a bug. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to fight so many thrombos, but, you know. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
It's one down. Oh, there's two down. Shit. Nice work. There we go. See, it would have been fine if they had all their legs. Then we would have been able to keep these guys at a decent distance. Nice. Three more throwbow horns. Oh, I mean, it's essentially two and a half magic weapons. I think it's two... Actually, I don't even remember what that... I think, is it a sword it crafts into? Doesn't really matter. How are we looking? Rivers, you okay? You're slightly, uh, slightly trampled there, eh? Stabbed in the neck by a thrombo horn. You'll be fine. How are you looking? Uh, actually, okay. Didn't lose anything. And then Ink Sphinx is lost a toe. But other than that, it is pretty much fine. Don't have any storage space for these. <laughs> Let's get the Muffin Man to butcher these thrombos. <laughs> I'm going to leave them on the floor. Because otherwise, the zombies will just... Uh... Otherwise, the zombies will obviously just savage them and be done with it. Uh, Smiles, you think you could actually rescue Rivers? One-legged pregnant woman, you're just leaving her on the floor to flail. Oh, it's okay. She's not bleeding anymore. Well, I guess that's uh, that's acceptable. Okay, Ronnie is fine. Now let's get you saving in Sphinx. Is there anyone else nearby that could pick up... Uh, yeah, Jon Snow. You can pick up Ronnie. Two lovers? What? Sellers and Maria? Oh, prisoners. Oh, right. Consider assigning them a double bed. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. There is no fun in this prison. Otherwise, they never want to leave. We've got stuff out of iron. We've got a lot of iron. We're rather not waste steel. No, we don't have a lot of iron. I lied to you. What the hell have we got to build out of then? Uh... I guess a marble food basket. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah. No, see, that's not ideal. Yeah, see, I can deal with... Uh, I can deal with Ronnie not having a window, but... Hmm, the research screen disappearing is a bit more of a concern. <laughs> I guess something updated then. Let me go and track that down. Oh. <laughs> well, it works, but at some sort of sick cost. Well, there we are. Uh, so... I wanted to look up what gave us... Oh, it's an axe. That's right. There we are. So with this, with arcane artifacts, we can get the thrombo. So it's another, what, 2,000, 3,500 points of research there. So we'll start with you. Oh, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh, shit. They've added some new things. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not going to work, though, is it? Oh, it might work. So there's this um, there's this machine called an arcane crafter, but it's, it's powered with mana, which, of course, we, we can't get. Uh, I wonder if it adds, as, as far as I recall, it does add the recipes to the regular workbenches. It's just a lot slower to... <laughs> just a lot slower to use that rather than the, the arcane workbench, essentially. So I love the fact that when they butcher the thrombos, the meat is just being left on the kitchen floor. Uh, you know, on the dining room floor, I should say. Yeah, that's a perfectly sensible place for it. Oh, not another wall. But we did get a lot of chickens, though, for free. That's the only reason I was able to see this hole in the wall. What's it got? Epic cougars available. Hello. Caravans from the Fallen Empire have been harassed by 41 man-hunting cougars. Paladin chestplate masterwork. Whoa. Adamantite heavy holy plate. Holy crap. 175 sharp, 140% blunt. Could get a honor with that one and potentially so somebody pointed this out there's a psychic power that allows you to give people inspirations and that would allow us to craft those crazy high tier weapons oh man this is a hard choice uh combat clove is quite nice paladin's chest plate masterwork it's nowhere near as good as the adamantine heavy holy plate is it oh this is tricky or we go for this one Masterwork harpsichord, masterwork golden hammer, which is obviously more value, but when we can't sell it, shit, this is really tricky. Uh, I think I will go for the honor in that case because we could potentially make our own adamantite heavy plate eventually. So let's go for you. They sent cataphracts. I'm never ever gonna make a medieval mod pack where there isn't technology. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so inherent to the fucking game at this point. My god. Ah! Oh, that'll be the cougars then. Fucking noise. <laughs> That's so good. Well, let's see how we get on here. I'm going to pull our people back very, very slightly. Uh, just so that we can retreat behind the embrasure. As is necessary. Jesus. How are we doing with the whole zombie infection? There's a bloody trade caravan here. Trader of the the Empire. So look, the Empire, when they try to put a trade caravan, I guess because we did that quest for them, they're allied now. Despite the fact in the scenario, by the way, all faction relations is always hostile, but apparently not. Empire caravans turn up with no tech, yet we get we take one quest to kill a bunch of big cats. All of a sudden, they send us the entire Imperial Army. Okay, you know what? This is maybe now time to run. We want to bait them over. If we obviously stand back here, they won't come over to the embrasures in the first place. 
Is Rivers going to get savaged by a cougar? Uh, no, you're fine. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, okay. This is, this is the plan. This is the plan. This is the plan. Fat Laurentius, Rear Admiral Richards move. Fat Laurentius, take his place. Go, 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 go. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Rivers was so slow, the cougars have, have held the door open. What? Unbelievable. You know what? That's fine. That works. That works fine. Jon Snow also grabbed one of those bloody elephant spears we got from... We got from the people who attacked yesterday. That's quite nice. They, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Just a bunch of just a bunch of big cats, like I said. Everything's fine. Is everything fine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything's more or less fine. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's loads more. <laughs> everything, as it turns out, was definitely not fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kill them faster. Uh, you move down here. Richards, move over. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, Okay, now we're- No, there's fucking loads of them. Where, where do they keep coming from? Okay, are we fine now? You're okay, seven hours. Uh, it's not okay, is it? No, uh, what happened? Rear Admiral Richard, you okay? Yeah, it's just kind of- There's not another one, is there? Oh, fuck off! Right. Are we good? <laughs> ah, I gotta patch up a hole in the wall here, a hole in the wall here. This is lost. It's my own fault. I should not- I should not have called in 44 man hunting cougars when we've got enough problems i am gonna scream where the fuck do they keep coming from miles kill the cougar mm. okay we're fine smiles how is that cougar doing this it's a magic backwards cougar go home patch yourself up there i say it i think that's the end of the cougars i think we're fine i think i hear the grim reaper calling if only there was a way i could Tend to my own wounds, seeing as I have 9.79 .9 medical skill. Ronnie, bring the hammer. I'm not pissing around anymore. Break its legs, Ronnie. Break its legs. Break its spirit and its body. Please. Problem is, we have to keep our people on ignore, which is why they're not attacking the cougars unless they're drafted. Because if we don't, then they'll attack the zombies constantly. Um, you know, particularly in areas like here, they will just stand here all day firing at zombies. They, they will not sleep, they won't eat because they'll just be firing at zombies all the time. So it's not practical to have them set to anything but ignore. But in situations like that, where you're, you know, attacked by 44 cougars, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. How is this the dirtiest room in the entire base? There we go. Pods arrive. Okay. And for our... Really? Really? Is that where we're putting them now, is it? Who deserves the adamantite, holy, heavy, holy plate? Uh, Ronnie's only got one leg, right? And if we give him this, I imagine this is probably quite heavy. Move speed minus 0 0.64. My God. The adamantite actually makes it slightly lighter there as well. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Um... Let's give Ronnie a leg, and then we'll let him wear that armor. Because everyone else is pretty decently equipped, and Ronnie's one of our key people here, and he's still walking around in, like, just an apron. Sorry. I don't want to know. A leg for Ronnie. I am... Um... I don't know what to say. 15.83 medical. The room's lit up. We have medicine. He had medicine. Are you scratching him in the shoulder? Do you know what a fucking leg is, Beef Portal? All you have to do is take log and strap it to stump. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Was that so difficult? 16 medical. No, no, no. Your license is getting revoked, my friend. Oh. Rivers has given birth, eh? Martyr. Oh. What? What is this, though? Wait, she was born a wayfarer. Because children inherit their parents' traits. So she got Night Owl from... Uh, it's Rivers, right? Night Owl from Rivers and Wayfarer from Portal. A magic child for a magic colony. Gear repair and strong back. Also born like a tiny, tiny people. Uh, but like ready to... Get to work? Oh. Oh, you're yeah, ready to just get a weapon. Ready for combat. Okay, fair enough. Wow, look at that. We got social tab. Father, beef portal, and mother, Bertha portal. Turns out Bertha portal was actually very accurate. Can we get some clothes for this tiny child? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, this is terrible. Uh, tiny child, do you want some armor? 
Look like a steel plate armor. Um, sure. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Have we got those, like, cl like clothes? Do we have, like, actual clothes here somewhere? Medieval. Tailor bench. Crafting station. Artisan station. Food prep. Was that, like, a fucking loom? Oh, there we are. Tailoring station. Right. Is that not what we have? Oh, no. It's a separate workbench. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Uh, don't worry. Every everything's okay. Um, go ahead and just put that, put that there, I guess. That's fine. But you know what? Why don't I go through and make sure everybody have their limbs well i mean as much as obviously can do with this so rivers can get another leg uh that means without the baby and with a leg she'll probably move pretty decently fast see look you're missing an entire leg tap scar on the hand we could give you a wooden hand oh it depends what's the efficiency on that 72 what's a wooden hand not 80 percent efficiency so because they've got a scar on their hand we can pull it off and replace it with a block of wood and that's more efficient uh wooden hand 60%. Okay, well, that's fine then. You're missing an entire arm. Oh, shit. Well, I can't do anything about that. There are bionics. Well, not really bionics, but but prosthetics. Advanced prosthetics in this somewhere. Medieval prosthetics, I assume. Um, which eventually allows us to build these ambrosian limbs. Uh, ambrosian arm. What's the efficiency on that? 100%. Oh. Hello there. Oh, uh, then we've got me mechanical limbs as well. That will allow us to build noses and things. Oh, cool. Um, can we craft it a fueled smithy? Um, and right now we're researching magical equipment so we can add to arcane artifacts and make the thrombos. So that those thrombos we killed earlier aren't going entirely to waste. As much as I want Lieutenant Dan to be more effective in combat and gain a higher social skill. I'll be honest here. We need people capable of building far more. Because we have plenty of okay wardens. The, for example, this newborn child is a good warden. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently also good at medical too. 7 out of 20. Well, shit. I mean, because obviously they inherit the parent's skills, right? Um, yeah, I, I hate to say it. We've only got two people in the entire colony capable of doing any good construction. I'm going to take Lieutenant Dan off of wardening for the time being. At least until we've got all our walls back shored up and, and kind of push back the zombies again. Oh, shit. A natural raid. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. That is a lot. And they're actually quite powerful. We've got another one of those guys with Reisling Bacchus. What a name. Holy crap. And he's the one with the uh, with the, that kind of enchanted warlord gear. Look at that. Social impact 5%. Social impact 8% on the armor. Global work speed 6% on the gloves and 3% social impact. Wow, if we get someone that full set, that would make any warden we've got way more effective. Jesus. Are they going to get through the zombies, though? I think that's fairly unlikely. We'll see how they do. They might go around this way, to be fair, because that's obviously got a hole in the wall. We'll just leave them to it. And when they start getting close to the base, then we'll worry about it. A lot of our people are actually just under anesthetic for surgery, too, which is a bit, a bit of an annoying timing on that one. Okay, they are pushing forward that way. There are probably an equal amount of zombies. It's just they're spread out across such a large area there. We'll make it a lot easier for us to capture them if they come through that way as well. So this could work out pretty well. There's a siege, though. Am I, am I wrong? Uh, messages. Yeah, Siege Betrayer's party. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, never mind. They've decided they hate the zombies that much. Oh, they've also split their group as well. Well, that's annoying. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say these guys are all entirely dead. Look at them holding the line, though. Just two of them holding about the entire horde. Wow. Zombies have started raging. Yeah, they're done for. They're dead. The zombies hit so much harder when they rage. Not a chance. And they stun, apparently. Wow. There they go. Well, they tried. How are they doing on this side, then? They have started across the river. Lester is at the front there, infected. How are you doing? You've taken a hit from an arbalist. You're fine. You're very much dead. Reisling is alive. We could potentially get the armor. Oh, my God. They're downed, but they're not. Get the squad. Get the squad. Get the squad. Run, 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 run. We have to find a balance here between moving fast as lightning... And also not sacrificing our own people at all. Just take it bloody carefully. Excuse me. We're here to get some fancy armor. And I guess maybe also rescue someone if we can get there in time. We could just set a move route for like up here and just pray that they get there in time. They're going to be mostly... Let's just buy a cache of goodies. Oh, what a shame. They're mostly going to be cramped together anyway. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Smiles, are you seriously not using the one weapon you're actually good with? Careful there. Careful, 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 careful. Colonist needs treatment. Bitten. Bitten. Fist. 
Okay, just just take take things carefully. We're fine. We actually knocked one. Holy crap. We've knocked two. He's dead. Are you infected? You're infected, so forget about you. You're actually fine. Bleeding out in 11 hours. Portel, how are you doing? Did you get bitten? Bruised by a warhammer. Um, here. One of you. Don't care who. Yep, fine. Capture. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Muffin man. Capture. Chana is up and potentially salvage. We can get there. We can get there. Portal, run. We're so close. As long as we get there and start tending immediately. Actually, Smiles is in front. Smiles, go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Two. Whoa! <laughs> we got the Warlord's gear with a second remaining. Oh, my God. I saw that they were going to die, and I thought, you know what? Just get whoever's in front to strip them, and it bloody worked. You know what, Marta? You can wear that for the time being. Yeah. Put on this Put on this person's clothes. There you go. And I mean, plus it's social gear, so it's really not that bad at all. Gains, you are you are salvageable. Uh, where is Smiles? Smiles, stabilize Gains. Are you you're not bitten, are you? Let's just take a look here. Fine. Toxic buildup. Other, other than that, absolutely fine. What about you? You were bitten, correct? Yeah. So forget about you. Uh, you guys might as well go home. To be completely frank. Uh, except for the muffin man. Uh, you capture. There we go. Hey, that's two more people. Chana's downed and not bitten. No infection risk. They were bitten, but they're fine. Uh, Jon Snow, are you missing a leg or anything? You're fine. Moving is 100%. Capture. Right, these guys are going to cover the way out. This is so good. It's free real estate. Oh my... <laughs> Beef's daughter. Holy crap. Wowee. Is that potentially three more people? Three more people and Marta as well. Oh no. We've, we've sacrificed a lot to do this, to be fair. We've got six people in prison. We've got three more coming in and the child. Takes us up to, what, 10 more people in total? Could be up to 20. We've got a potential colony size of 24 right now. That puts us halfway to our goal. Including Derek Lodge, of course, which you will include because he's better than, honestly, almost all of these people. Anything worth stripping? Uh, gear. Uh, I mean, you can make an argument for the archer's braces. Hit chance, work speed, shooting accuracy. Sure, I guess that's okay. Uh, Evan, let's get you to strip them and grab their clothes. Let's go doctor care with you and protest tending. Three prisoners. That is so good. And we've got all of this gear coming back with um, Evan too. Just various different armor and that type of thing. Uh, one of the prisoners, I assume? Yeah, that's understandable, really. It's not the nicest hospital in the world, is it? Just kind of thrown on a dirt floor. The minimum we can do is get this rebuilt. Boom. So that makes this area, again, safe. But it's uh, it's kind of a fleeting safe. Because at any point, a mining zombie could just immediately go through the wall again. Okay. This is fine. How are we looking down here? Lieutenant get, Dan got punched by that zombie, I assume? Yeah, nothing to worry about, though. And we've got plenty of cavalry spikes down now. So this place should be more or less... It's, it's almost finished there, but more or less defended as well. Man, this is great. So that's pretty much done. This is fine and safe. This is not ideal. We need to run the whole thing with more cavalry spikes. To be fair, lighting every wall with double cavalry spikes rather than palisades would have been a much better idea. That way, if they do... If the first set of cavalry spikes break and they get through, they've still got the next of the bit. But lining them all internally as well would stop them pretty, pretty succinctly, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these bodies now come back as zombies. Yeah, see, there you go. So any second now. Yeah, so 48 hours to become a zombie. Maybe they'll be eaten before then. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Oh, yeah, all of them. Wow, be careful with that. Today was a, a weird one. Today was pretty hit and miss. We, we've had a lot, of, uh, a lot of pushbacks here from the extremely powerful and very persistent zombies. But we've got, like, so many fucking people waiting to join the colony. It's great. We are pretty much... Halfway to our ultimate goal of the 50-person zombie colony. There is a big difficulty that comes from having 50 people that, of course, we're not going to know until we get there. And that's, can we get enough farms and enough food and enough housing and safety for 50 people? It's going to be tough as nails. And, of course, as we recruit more and more people, the actual raids, the sieges, as we've just seen, are going to get harder and harder and harder. And I think eventually the balance will tip, whereby the zombies aren't the main threat. I think the sieges will become the main threat made even harder by the fact that we're so inconvenienced by the zombies. So we'll see how it goes here. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this one. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised we're almost... I know, I know that I'm saying we're halfway there and really we haven't recruited anyone yet, but it's only a matter of time, um, not including potential prison breakouts, that type of thing. But I think this is going pretty well, all things considered. Thank you to Asana Kurato, Dranmir, Goatfather, 
Thistle wins. Dante Mordekane. Cheese Scene. Michael Mullen. King Snitch Gaming. Nikki Sticks. Apple Cat. Night Rouge. TG Taps. El Scorchio82 and Andrew DeGaron, along with everyone else at the executive produ producer Tears over on Patreon. Big thank you goes out to you guys for making the series possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Atreus Sen, Noximortalis, Abolka, Proximity Jones, Roger Wilco, Salakin J, Lady Cerulean, Cass, Captain Cuba, Almodel Solomonis, Stalker Pepe, Moondoggy, and Astaros the Great.